Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. So, today's pour is a galaxy pour, and in it I included some milk paint. The, um, <clears throat> I think it's like country butter or something like that, churn butter or something from folk art. Um, it's um, a real light yellow color, and um, I mixed it with that Naples yellow from Artist Loft, and I I personally don't prefer to use straight milk paint. Um, when I do, the times I have used straight milk paint, I've had my um, pieces crack a good bit, so I like to mix it with an acrylic paint, and I just basically mix the acrylic paint to ratio like I normally do and then I just put a couple of tablespoons of the um, milk paint into it and um, if you've never used milk paint, milk paint is actually quite thin um, so yeah I like to mix it with an acrylic paint um, so oh, something I also did, I had purchased some Montmartre pouring medium um, from Tuesday morning and I've used the pre-mixed paints from Montmartre and I do like the finish that they have um, if you don't want to put a varnish on a piece um, pre-mix paint pouring um, paints they just they all the ones that I've used tend to just have this really nice finish to them and so they don't really require a varnish. Um, and so when I found the pouring medium at Tuesday morning, I was like, uh, well, maybe I can incorporate it into my paints and it will give me that same sort of finish. Um, so basically what I did is just substituted in a portion of the Floetrol that I normally use. Um, to thin my paints with some of the pore medium they're about the same consistency um i didn't get the finish that i wanted um but it was a it was a um you know it was a a try i'm probably you would have to just use all pore medium um to get that sort of finish and i did not have a very large bottle so i didn't want to like you know use it all for that but you know it was fine it was fine it, it performed like um other pore mediums that i had used before when i mixed them with um flow draw so it was fine um and hold on <laughs> i'm multitasking y'all i've actually um i'm actually coloring i'm coloring um it's getting kind of late it's about 9 30 and um i was like oh i haven't prepared a video yet so i am sitting like a little youngin on the bed coloring in my adult coloring book um and doing this voiceover so um I do like, I like the way other people's galaxy pores look, but for some reason, when I try to do them, they just come out like mediocre <laughs> and not at all impressive. They don't look like a galaxy pour normally when I do them. Um, and so I thought, well, I always get good results with milk paint, so I'm going to, um, I'm going to give it a try with the milk paint and try to do a galaxy pour with it. Um, I've commented many times, like, Sarah Mac is the queen of galaxy pours. She does such a good job. And she always gets these incredible effects. Um, she uses Extreme Sheen and, like, the Craft Smart and stuff like that. But even when I use those paints, I just don't get really cool stuff. And, I'm, you know, I wonder if it's, like... Am I not layer, layering my paints like she does, you know? Um, I'm not sure, but 
we can't all be Sarah Max, can we? Um, but this turned out pretty good. One thing I did notice, and I think it was the milk paint that caused it, but there was some texture. It was kind of like, um, it was kind of like I had put some sand in my paint. So it had this texture to it when it dried and it has dried and I have the dried results in this video but yeah I did notice that I've never had that happen with milk paint before but I've never used the yellow before so it might be the yellow it might be perhaps the paint was old um because I did get it from Tuesday morning and I know they are a, a discount store so and you know uh folk art hasn't been um producing any any milk paint lately that i'm aware of um i did email their company and they responded um and i think it's just been put on hold for the time being because of the pandemic um but it was just like textured like it had sand in it it was still a beautiful piece i think it came out really really well and i'm proud of it but it was just kind of odd for it to have that um that that sort of texture and i've never seen it before um yeah y'all adult coloring is so much fun i like to go in and put down like a layer of color with my markers like my alcohol ink markers and then i go in with my prisma color pencils and like add details and shading it isn't entirely unnecessary to be this um involved in just a color page like but i enjoy it it relaxes me and um i just <clears throat> i have found myself I don't know I, I love to paint and everything but I've I was I get on these kicks where I want to paint like tons and I do and then I'll do that for about a month like I'm just creating so much art and then it's just like okay I'm, I'm done I'm, I'm done for now um, and, and I might create you know two or three pieces a week um and i'll go like that for a little while and then then i'll perk back up plus i'm in my final weeks of school and um i have two major projects due i got one due the 22nd and the other one is due the 27th and i also have to take my exit exam which will be next week probably wednesday or thursday um i'll go take it um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to prepare for the exit exam because there's no study guide. It's just basically like a recap of everything I've learned in the master's program. So, yeah. Plus, I don't get a calculator. I get a piece of paper and a pencil. What? <laughs> like, how am I supposed to do finance problems without a spreadsheet? Because that's how we learn to do them. So I'm a little bit concerned about this. But um, I don't know. I mean I can't solve finance equations. Without at least a calculator. Um, fi the finance equations are basic math. But like there's multiple steps. And you put the numbers in the calculator. And they give you answers. Like you have to know. How to put them in you know you have to know what buttons to press but i don't know i'm a little bit concerned but it's going to be okay um here are the wet results i like that center it kind of looks kind of like a little storm in the middle um yeah so i think it's really cool i think it's a galaxy pour tell me what you guys think and then this is the dried results i wish you could see the texture but this is what I got. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you later.